the bore's pretty good, it's got a light, light dip there after I gave it a home or deglaze really so there's no considering where's the original piston piston that came out of it it came out in that direction the exhaust port so considering there's those scars on the exhaust port side so that's pretty good to look at there that's where those Two marks were rubbing along in that area there. That's the right way up for the piston. There's that mark on the top. As you can see, there's, hardly, there's a little tiny nick in the, <coughs> the back, but there's nothing that would catch a ring. So I'm, I've got a new piston. Sticking that in, and <coughs> so it's brand new. It came came out of the old box, so RRR from the Hinterland lawnmowers. But so if this happens again, I don't know what the hell's going on. So those rings are cracked because there's a lack of oil, and I say the petrol. We've got a full tank. Had to find something to tip it into. The chicken's eating a bit of pizza. <coughs> this petrol's wrong. It smells like it's had diesel. It smells a bit like diesel. Wait, what the hell is this yellow shit? I've never seen petrol like that before. So I only go to the mobile service station, which is probably. But it's, it smells a bit like diesel. And put your hands in it. it. Should feel like it's got two stroke oil. It just feels like just normal leaded petrol. So I'm going to put that in a jar and leave it on the bench. I'll put some fresh stuff of my own in there. That's just normal petrol. There's no. You can tell the difference. And it's got two stroke oil out. Anyway, that's my little video evidence uh, evidence video for later on in case he comes back in a few weeks' time or something. But that's the. Uh, I might even keep that piston. I'll show it. No, nah, actually, you can have the piston back. But that bore, there's nothing really that I can see pick up wrong with that. Except that light little dip. That's just wear. <laughs> nothing to do with this with the piston, nothing to do with the rings breaking. <clears throat> but down on that exhaust port, right in the corner, it's a bit hard to see this camera. There's I don't know, they're not rough. I had the like I say I had the hone in there, or the de deglazer. And that ran up and down and okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so that's that the Victor Tornado Classic that came over. <coughs> Just to prove it's the same one, in case we've got to show the guy the video again later. The one that had the broken pull starter part on it, rah rah rah, and had all the funny clamps and things on the on the. Uh, I've actually put a couple of extra screws in here and stuff. So I put it back together the other day thinking it was going to run, but then we later discovered the piston's route, which was rude. Exhaust port's nothing in there to worry about, it's all regular carbon, a bit of crap in there. But anyway, so I'll put it back together and see what happens with that petrol. It's got no oil on it. <coughs>
<clears throat> That's the one with the new piston in it. And rings. <clears throat> I think I've figured out what was wrong with the other piston. This was revving. I've got it set where it's probably a touch under maximum, but before it was like twice maximum. 8,000 RPM or something, rather. I didn't, don't have a taco meter, but it was incorrectly set. So, whoever, the blokes probably had it revving too hard, and the petrol that was in it had no oil in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's running now rather. Started first pull after I put the rings back in and put them back together. Pull started a bit dicky though. The but operational. It's a topic for some other time. It doesn't grip all it. I should have put some WD 40 on the. Now, anyway, it'll get lubricated eventually. La la la. <clears throat> That's my first uh, <clears throat> victory rebuild.